Hi everyone, welcome back to the Maths Man YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a fantastic way to help you work out a fraction of a number. In the first example, I'm going to be showing you how to do it in the concrete method using you know things that you can touch and move, and then I'm going to move on to the slightly harder way of doing it using just a pen, paper, and your brain. Let's learn it, let's learn it now. So to complete this task today, you're going to need a whiteboard, whiteboard pen, and counters or multi-link or coins, anything that you have a lot of, okay? Or you, if, if the worst comes to the worst, you can just use a pen and draw some dots. And you don't need a whiteboard, you can also just use paper and a pencil. So, if I want to find out one-fifth of 20... Look at this easy way to find out one-fifth of 20. So first I just look at the denominator, which is a 5. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle that has five sections. One, two, three, four and five. So one, two, three, four, five. I did a rectangle with four, five sections because of the denominator. Then I need to find 20 objects or 20 things. Okay, so I'm going to use 20 of these little counter type things here. Okay, and all I'm going to do is separate them equally into fifths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen. 19. 20. Now to find one fifth of 20, all I need to do is look at one section. Okay, so one fifth of 20 is one, two, three, four. How easy was that? How about if I want to find two sevenths of 35. So this time I'm going to draw a rectangle with seven parts to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, and I'll rub that bit out. Okay, now I need to get 35 objects and count them out and put them equally into each section. Thirty-four, thirty-five. Now I need to find what two sections are worth. So here's one section and here's two sections. Okay, so these are one seventh and this is two sevenths. So in this box, I have one, two, three, four, five. And in this box, I have one, two, three, four, five. So five add five is ten. And two sevenths, two sevenths of 35 is 10. Once you've mastered that, you'll then be ready to move on to using pictures to help you. So one sixth of 30 equals. So instead of using these counters, I can use pictures to help me instead. So if this bar here is worth 30, so if all of this is worth 30, I need to split it into six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I need to work out what one of these boxes is worth. 
And I can do that by taking all of the bar, which is 30, and I can divide it by 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 30 divided by 6, hopefully you should know, is 5. So 1 sixth, so this 1 sixth here of 30 is 5. And if it was 4 sixths, so that would be 4 pieces. Because I know that one piece is 5, the second bit should be 5, this bit would be 5, and this bit would be 5, that would be 5, 10, 15, 20. So 4 sixths would be 20. Once you've mastered that, you can then just use a pen and a piece of paper to work out a fraction of a number. So here I need to find 2 ninths of 36. So all you do is take the number, which is 36, and divide it by 9. So 36 divided by 9. I'm going to do my 9 times table just to make sure here. So 36 divided by 9 is 1, 2, 3, 4. But what I've worked out there is just 1 ninth. So if I want to work out 2 ninths, I need to multiply my answer by 2. And that would give me an answer of 8. So 2 ninths of 36 is 8. And once you've mastered this method, you can then go ahead and find out fractions of larger numbers, such as 1 seventh of 210. So 210 divided by 7. So I'm not going to do my 7 times table all the way up until 210 because that will take me a long time. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to cover up the 0 and I'm going to say how many 7s in 21. There are three. And then I'm going to add this zero. So 210 divided by seven is 30. And because I only need to work out one seventh, this is my final answer.